All aboard for the transcribed premiere production, The Cruise of the Paul Parrot. That exciting story of adventure at sea aboard the good ship Paul Parrot. When the crew of the Paul Parrot was washed ashore on an island in the South Atlantic off the coast of Brazil during a terrific hurricane, our good friends Sue Grange, Johnny the cabin boy, Ezra Grange, owner of the Paul Parrot, Captain Dalton, its skipper, Old Dickon, and Paul Parrot himself found themselves shipwrecked on the island with the captain and part of the crew of a privateer vessel, the Africana. Not long after discovering savage natives on the island, Captain Dalton disappears. The rest of our friends are searching for him. And when we last saw what was happening, Johnny and Sue were hidden in a large tree watching the savage camp at which they think Captain Dalton is held prisoner. They're surprised to see Captain Karsh the privateer and his first mate, Briney, talking with a white man, Misto, the leader of the savages. Just as we left them, Karsh was attacked by Blackie, the black leopard belonging to Misto. Johnny and Sue are still in the tree. That black leopard has knocked Captain Karsh down and is clawing him. Yeah. Oh, I can't look. It's all right now. That white man has ordered the leopard away. Oh, thank goodness for that. Even if Karsh is a privateer, I wouldn't like to see him killed by a wild animal. No, I guess not. Slow me down. What are you two youngins doing in that there tree? We've been searching all over for you. Oh, Dickon. Don't yell so loud. Yes, Dickon, I'll hear you. Who will hear me? What are you talking about? Ma! Ma! Close your lip, you see so? Ma! Close your own lip, Polly. We're coming right down, Dickon. Go ahead, Sue. All right. Here I go. Of all things, hiding a loaf in a tree. Shame on you, Miss Sue. We're in your poor brother, Mr. Grange, almost to death. Look out, Dickon. I'm going to jump down. Here I come. Now, now tell me. What did you two young'uns run off like this? Dickon, we found the camp of the savages. Blow me down. Did you see Captain Dalton? No, but I'll bet he's held captive there just the same. And there's a white man there. He looks like their leader. That black leopard we saw is his pet. His pet? Who in the world would want a treacherous beast the likes of a black leopard for a pet? I don't know, but he seems to obey the white man all right. He sure does. What makes you think Captain Dalton is there, though? Because Captain Karsh is over there talking to the man with the leopard. Yes, and that first mate of his with a hook hand. I knew it, I knew it. That blight, of course, is responsible for Captain Dalton vanishing like he done. Lash me to a yard arm. You think Karsh and the white man are in together on this thing? Well, I don't know. Just a little while ago, we were watching them from the tree up there. Yes. The white man with the leopard was talking to that privateer Karsh and his first mate. At first, they seemed to be very friendly. Friendly, eh? <laughs> that blooming barnacle. But all at once, they started to argue about something. And Karsh started to go after the white man. But that's as far as he got. Blow me down. And what do you mean by that? Well, when he started after the white man, the leopard went after Karsh. Good old leopard. He should have tore the swab to bits, he should. I'm sure he would have. But just as the leopard jumped at Karsh, Karsh screamed and fell back. And the leopard right... Oh, my oh. friend. You see, oh. my friend, you made a mistake. I told you I didn't like you, and you were not one to be trusted. Oh, that's no reason to enter. Let that leopard of yours attack me. Oh, it was no idea of mine, I assure you, my friend. Apparently, Blackie felt the same way about you. But it's just as well. It will teach you not to try any funny business. Well, fine one you are, briny, a swab. You stood there and let that animal kill me for all you cares. You think I'd tangle with a black leopard to save the likes of you? Why, you'd stick a knife in my back if I turned around, you would. You see, my friend, even your own first mate doesn't trust you. I was his first mate, but believe me, no more I ain't. Well... As long as none of us trust him, I suppose the safest way would be to do away with him, eh? No, no. Don't lose that animal at me again. Oh, don't worry, my friend. I wouldn't kill a man if I didn't have to. But it'll be safer, let us say, to tie you up in the shack over there with your other friend, the captain. No, no. Take this man and... Tear him up in the shack with the other white men. No, 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 you, you can't do this to me. Oh, looks to no. me like he can, Mr. Uh, Cash. I can and I will. Tear him up. 
Take him away. No. No, keep those blooming savages of yours away from me. Oh. Take him oh. back to the shack. Blast you, you'll be sorry for this. See if you ain't. Now, perhaps we can talk in peace. Your boisterous friend won't bother us for a while, I believe. Blimey, you're a cool one, you be. And I likes you. Kosh makes too blooming much noise, he does. He's better off tied up, he is. Yes, I believe he will be. My men will tie him securely in the same shack with Captain Dalton. And it'll be nice company. Take your hands off me. Oh, not so tight, you bloomin' swabs. No, don't. Don't leave me here tied up like this. Blast you. Well, I've gone. Blimey, it's dark in this hut. Can't see a thing. I guess my eyes ain't used to it. Now it's getting better. Blast that. Riney letting that blooming magician do this to me. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that, I say? Oh, someone's tied up on the other side of that blooming room. Oh, Captain Dalton. It's you, eh? Well, now, listen, matey. Let's be friends. Let's forget what happened. We got to get out of here, we does. Maybe the two of us can manage to get away. Why don't you answer me? <laughs> Laugh, last year. You think it's funny to be tied up in this blooming shack? Now, listen, Captain Dalton. Maybe I've been wrong. Suppose I come on your side. Suppose I tell you I'm, I'm a changed man. I'm sorry I am for treating Annabelle my betrothed like I done. I'm a willing to make it up to where I am. I don't want the bloom and swag of diamonds, I don't. All I want is my Annabelle back. Hey, let's get out of here together. I'll thank you to my dying day. What's eating you? Answer me, why don't you? What's wrong with you, you bloomin' Yankee skipper? Answer me! Answer me! Don't stand there staring at me like a lonely deckhand. Dalton! Dalton! What are they gonna do to us? I, I, I'm scared, I am. I'm scared. Let me out. Let me out of here. Let me out. <laughs> <laughs> so help me, Miss Sue. I thinks we're doing wrong, I does. We should tell Mr. Grange where we are. He's worrying about us, so help me. No, Dickon. We haven't time to go back to the rest. As long as we found the camp of the natives, we're going to find out if Captain Dalton is a prisoner there. Yes, Dickon. If we wait too long, we don't know what might happen to Captain Dalton. Oh, I guess you're right, Johnny Lad. So help me. If anybody armed Captain Dalton, I'd track him to the end of the earth, I would. And when I got him, Look, I'd... Dickon, here's another path here. Let's follow it. It may lead around the camp of the natives somehow. Yes. If we can keep out of sight and get closer to the camp, we may be able to find where they have Captain Dalton. If they've got him at all. Come along, then. But be quiet. Blow me down. It wouldn't do it, wouldn't to let them know he's spying on them. Look, this does lead around the camp. I can see it from here. You're right, Sue. We're right in back of a lot of little huts. Lash me to a yard arm. Doesn't look like there's anyone around, it doesn't. Quiet now, you young'uns. And you too, pal. You blasted sea orc. I'm going to take a peek in the first one here. Nope. Can't see a soul, I can't. I'm going to look in this next one here. And I'll go to the next one. Be careful, Johnny. Don't let anyone see you. Don't worry, I won't. There's no one in this one either. Johnny, can you see anybody? No, there doesn't seem to be anybody in any of these huts. Well, let's go farther down and look in those other huts. Hey, you best. Where you two youngins going now? Come on, Dickon. We're going to look in those other huts farther down there. Take it easy now. We will. Come on. I tell you what. You do go quiet like and see if you can see anything. I'll stay here, I will, and keep a kind of a lookout. All right, Dickon, but be sure to let us know if you see anything, too. I will, Miss Hugh. You may lay to that. I sure will. Johnny, Johnny, Dickon is going to keep a watch out while we take a look in those other huts. Let's look in this one here. Maybe we can... Wait a minute. Do you hear anything, Johnny? 
Yes, I do. It's coming from that next shack. Come on. Be awful quiet. I'm scared I am. Let me out. Let me out. That's Captain Cars, the privateer. That's who it is, all right. That hut is all boarded up. The windows are covered over. Here, this board is loose. Maybe we can pull it off. Be careful now, Johnny. I will. Here. Mm. Coming loose. Who's that? Look, Johnny. The sun is shining right through this opening. You can see who it is in there. Yes, I can see now. Who's that, I say? It is Captain Cars. Yes, and he's tied up in there. Let me out of here. He can't see us. The sun is shining right in his face. Don't say anything. Don't let him know who we are. I won't. Wait a minute. Sue, there's someone else in there. Oh, I wonder if it's Captain Dalton. I don't know. It's so dark except where the sun shines in. I can't see. All I know is there's someone else with Karsh in there. Do you think we should ask who it is? No, not yet. It may not be Captain Dalton. It may be someone guarding Karsh. Maybe we'd better get Dickon. <laughs> That leopard again. And he's coming his way. Oh, Johnny, what'll we do? I don't know, Sue. Look, Dickens sees the leopard and he's coming this way. Oh, Johnny. Don't worry, Sue. Don't worry. Sue, Johnny, don't move. Stay where you are. If you make a move, he'll come after you. Stand still. Ah! Oh, Johnny. Ah! Johnny and Sue face a black leopard, most ferocious of wild beasts. And their friend Captain Dalton is tied up in the same shack with Karsh, although Sue and Johnny do not know it. Will the leopard attack them? Will Dickon be able to help them? So many things have happened to our two young friends, we wonder what will be next. So be sure to listen to the next in this exciting transcribed series, The Cruise of the Paul Parrot, to find out. Until then, this is your Paul Parrot announcer, Dave Ward, saying goodbye. <laughs>